Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys some of my just kind of like must have and favorite travel items. Uh, this is in the forefront of my mind because I'm getting ready to get on a plane and go on a trip. I've traveled to Africa where I had to take like two 12 hour flights. So I was basically on planes for 24 hours. I've just, I've done a lot of traveling and I've learned what things I feel like are actually really helpful to have. And sometimes it can be hard to kind of wade through all of the gimmicky travel things out there to see which ones are actually worth your money and helpful and useful and which ones aren't. So I'm in the process of packing for the trip and I thought I would just share with you guys kind of as I've pulled everything out to start packing, I thought I would share with you guys some of my travel must haves. Okay, so for me, depending on where we're traveling, how long I'm gonna be gone, uh, I, we'll determine whether or not I intend to actually wash my hair while we're on this trip. If it's going to be a short enough trip that I'm not gonna do a hair wash because I only wash my hair like once or twice a week normally. So if I'm not gonna be doing a hair wash, obviously dry shampoo is important. But of course, not just any dry shampoo will do. So this is from the brand IGK and it's called First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This stuff will definitely make it look like you have recently washed your hair. Uh, this is not my everyday dry shampoo. It definitely uh, is one that you're only gonna get away with using for a short amount of time before you actually need to wash your hair, but it absolutely gets rid of any kind of grease oil you have going on, and it adds a ton of volume back into my hair. Use this very sparingly if you decide to try it. Use just a little bit at a time. If you use too much, it'll build up and you'll feel it in your hair and you won't like that at all. But if you want your hair to truly look clean, definitely give this a try. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy how well it works. And it's definitely like become my secret weapon for not having to wash my hair when I'm traveling. The other thing is of course, keeping your clothes nice and uh, not just fresh looking, but wrinkle free, etc. If you're like me and you like to really like cram when you pack things, find it very helpful to bring some kind of wrinkle release. If you're doing carry-on only, something like this, this is from the Laundress, it's called Crease Release. Something like this is perfect because it is small enough to still go in your carry-on. If you're doing checked bags, obviously you can bring larger ones, but I really like a crease releaser just because number one, it makes my clothes smell fresh, but also it just gets rid of any wrinkles that may be you know, just hiding from the travel. I also will, again, depending on the length of the trip, I will bring a handheld steamer. I'm actually in a little bit of a panic because as I was pulling everything out to pack, I cannot seem to find mine right now. I need to check with my husband to see where it is, but I will pop a picture up here so you can see what it looks like. Um, I really like this handheld steamer. It is quick, it is easy to use. It doesn't take up a ton of space in your luggage. It's great to just use around the house too. I'm not a big like ironer. I don't pull out the ironing board and iron things. Oftentimes I'll spray something and then pop it in the dryer, but obviously when I'm traveling, I can't do that. So um, I have the steamer that I really love and that's a great option to bring, depending on where you're going, what you're doing on your trip. Um, you know, oftentimes we have like dresses or silkier dresses or flowy dresses if you're gonna go to dinner somewhere or something like that. And you want that stuff to be able to be wrinkle free. So a good crease release spray and a steamer are two more like essentials for me. Okay, next up is an essential that maybe you're not thinking about, okay? You probably, unless you're like me and you're Captain Anxiety ready to like stress about anything before a trip, it may or may not be something that you think about before a trip, but I certainly think about it a lot. And that is before I'm going to get on a plane, uh, get in a car for a long trip, especially if I'm going somewhere without my family. If I'm not gonna be having like my husband and my kids with me, that's always when it comes to like the forefront of my mind. And that, my friends, is life insurance. Today's video is sponsored by Ethos. I have shared with you guys about Ethos before. I'm thrilled to be working with them again because I truly love what they offer. I feel like it is an incredible service and something that can take something that feels kind of scary, like thinking about life insurance and shopping for it and turn it into something so simple, so easy to do. And we've just been so impressed with them and I think that y'all will love them too. So I'm sure y'all are the exact same way. The thought of something happening to me, like while I'm away on a trip and then thinking about my husband and the kids and them trying to like go on with their lives and take care of things and I'm not around anymore. It all just swirls around in this like ball of stress and anxiety for me before I am leaving on a trip. I'm a person who avoided looking into life insurance for a really long time because it felt kind of just depressing and seemed very overwhelming. If you think about like having to fill out stuff and then have somebody come to your house and do, you have to do medical exams and blood tests and all of that, it can feel very overwhelming. 
However, Ethos has streamlined the process and made it so simple. You just fill out an online application answering some health questions, and within minutes, you will get options for different life insurance policies. I think it's fantastic, so simple to do. It doesn't have to take weeks and it doesn't have to involve all of that other stuff. They have really made the process so simple. And if you're like me and you're like, I have questions, I always have questions, it's okay because you can fill out the application and do all of that. And if you still have questions, it's all right. You can pick up the phone and call them. There's someone there to help you, talk you through it. Um, and the thing that I think that I love most about them, perhaps I love most, is that when you do call and you get to talk to someone, uh, they're not trying to upsell you. This is not like a hard sell thing where they're trying to like upsell you on something, a bigger policy or a more expensive policy. They're just there to answer your questions and help guide you to the right policy for what you're looking for, for your family's life insurance needs. So it does not have to be overwhelming. I would highly encourage you to check them out. It takes about 10 minutes to fill out the online application and answering those health questions. And you can get a life insurance policy for as little as $10 a month. I know that I'm someone who always thought that life insurance was gonna be really expensive. And I was honestly so pleasantly surprised by how affordable it was. Like I said, I know a lot of people feel like it's expensive and it certainly does not cost nearly as much as I think that people imagine it in their heads to. And the second piece of that, which I think is equally as important is that as someone who put it off, the longer you put it off, every few years, the cost of life insurance increases by like eight to 10%. So I would definitely encourage you to take advantage of filling out the free application and just seeing what your policy options are. And of course, all of that information where you can check out Ethos, fill out that online application for free, that will all be down below in the description box. Okay, now that we've settled our, our travel nerves, we know that we're gonna be okay, even if the plane goes down. The plane's not going down. The chances of the plane going down are very slim, but I still think about it. So of course, what am I gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna try to sleep on the plane so that I don't stress. And one of the best ways that I sleep on the plane is with my handy dandy neck pillow. I am very particular about neck pillows for planes. It has to literally hold my head in place because my head will still flop forward, flop to the side. And especially if I'm sitting next to a stranger, I don't wanna be like <sighs> breathing in their face. I do a weird snoring thing when I'm sleeping. It's kind of weird because at home I don't snore, but when I'm like on my, laying on my back sleeping uh, or like on a plane or something, I do this thing where I go <sighs> It's a weird like motorboat thing I do with my lips when I'm on a plane. It's very awkward. It's very awkward when I'm like starting to wake up enough to realize I'm doing it and so I can like hear myself and then I actually wake up and the person next to me is like, oh my God, what is this lady doing? So I like a neck pillow that holds my head in place so that even if I am poofing, motorboating, the person next to me doesn't have to like look at my face doing it right at them while they're sleeping. So this is a great neck pillow. It's memory foam and it comes with a little baggie here where the whole thing will like compress down to fit inside the baggie which is very helpful. It also has the little carabiner here. Uh, sometimes I will like clip my headphones or something to that so that they don't fall, like not my actual, the, the ones, not the ones that are in my ear, but like the case, right? To, to go inside this little sack here so that um, they don't like fall or get lost on the, the ground or something while I'm sleeping. Cause who knows what I'm gonna do when I'm sleeping. You know, I am prone to kick or turn or whatever and knock something off or lose something. So. A fabulous neck pillow. This is my favorite. I love it so much. Totally pull these drawstrings and make it like hold my head super tight. It's an absolute necessity. And of course, because we have so many electronics these days, having something to corral and organize all of the cables, cords, all of that stuff is an absolute necessity for me. I am somebody who would like just toss things in little makeup bags or within all these different, and it was just, they were everywhere. I didn't know where anything was. I didn't know where my charger were for my computer, my phone. I need a charger for the headphones. It's like, as we've simplified things, we've also complicated things, if you know what I'm saying. So I love this little organizer from Amazon. Um, it holds all of my cables and my different headphones. Um, all of the like charger things that go into the wall. I can also just easily slip my like portable charger in here. Uh, this thing is fabulous and just a, a must have for me in organizing all of the cords and chargers and cables and just accoutrement of the electronic world that must come with me on every trip, whether it is a car trip or a plane trip, it's a must have. And speaking of, 
Um, I don't have it with me because I just ordered a new one. I don't have them with me and I'm really hoping they arrive before this trip, but I got some new um, portable like charging banks. So this is like an absolute must have. I have an older one that's just kind of starting to not work as well. So I've got some new ones on the way. If the new ones aren't here in time, I'll use the old ones, but I will show you here. Uh, these are from the Anchor brand. I'm sure you know what a power bank is, but just in case you just charge the power bank and it will put anywhere from two to four to six, depending, charges into it. So then when you're at the airport, when you're on the plane, if it doesn't have, some planes don't have a place to charge things. And sometimes when you're at the airport, everyone's taken all of the outlets, okay? You would think that that wouldn't be possible, but it is. And it's happened to me many times that there is not a one outlet to be found. And so it's great to be able to just sit down and charge your stuff or charge your stuff in your bag while you're walking around, charge your stuff on the plane. Don't have to worry about not being able to get to a place where you can charge your phone and your phone's gonna die or something like that. Okay, speaking of electronics, let's just take a moment to talk about my must have headphones. Now I love, I love, love, love my Raycon. I have been using Raycon for a couple of years now because I do have the Apple, I. I, nope, what's it called? I was gonna call it iPod, AirPods, there it is. The Apple AirPod Pros. I have those, I got them at the Amazon Prime sale in July. And I do really like them for certain things. However, one of the things I do not like them for is if I'm going to be sleeping or laying my head down in any capacity while I have those things on. They already hurt my ears just as a general rule, but these do not, okay? I could sleep with these in. If I have one in while I'm laying here in bed, I will fall asleep with it in and it'll stay there all night and it'll never hurt my head or poke or do anything weird. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm not kidding you guys. It's not like Apple was ever gonna sponsor me before, but they're definitely not now because I've like, my ears have bled on the inside from those AirPods. They literally make my ears bleed. It's crazy, um, but these do not. I love them so much. All right, the little case is where you charge them. They hold four, four full charges for the headphones within the cases, and then obviously you charge the case. They charge really quickly. Um, I, I just, I really, really, really like them. I know they have a few different versions. My favorite, my go-to are just the everyday headphones. So I've got the rose gold and the white here. I also have the black. And there's something that you can put in and put your little neck pillow on and lean your head against and fall asleep, and it's not gonna cut your ear. You trust me, okay? If you're having trouble with the Apple ones, try the Raycon, you will love them. Okay, we've gotten through our electronic stuff. Let's talk about like actually packing things. Something is tickling my arm, it's making me crazy. I think we've all heard everybody talk about packing cubes about a million times. And sometimes I struggle with packing cubes, like practicality wise, if this, is this really helping me out any? Um, when I'm packing for like myself and my kids, really love packing cubes for dividing up everybody's clothes. I color code the packing cubes. So like, you know, Noah has blue packing cubes, Jonah has orange packing cubes. That also helps the kids to be able to find their stuff and not ruin the whole suitcase. I don't know what child is screaming right now. I apologize for that. These packing cubes, okay? These are the best. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because they are compression packing cubes. So not only do they organize your stuff, but then you get to compress it down. Because we all know you put those pajamas in there, whatever, you could squeeze that down and compress. That's where you're gonna want your wrinkle release and your steamer for later though, okay? But these compression packing cubes are the bomb I love. Does people still say the bomb? Probably not, but we're gonna say it anyways. <laughs> they have a number of color options. I really liked the uh, flowery ones. I thought they were pretty. These to me are like the ultimate in packing cubes because not only are they packing cubes that organize things, but they compress and make more stuff fit in your suitcase. And maybe some of you don't want that, but I do. <laughs> this little beauty. This is relatively new to my um, traveling accoutrement and it is just, where have you been all my life? I have missed you and loved you. And that is a hair tools organizer. Now I got the black one. They have some other like pretty colors. If you're like, oh, that's so boring. They do have like, you know, I think they had like a pink and maybe a purple or something like that. I just went for the plain black one, but I love that it allows you to be able to put away like your flat iron or whatever here. And it holds in here if you have, uh, let's say the Dyson hairdryer or the Dyson, like that 
multi-hair tool. It also holds the dry bar one that I have. I purchased that recently as well. I love that thing. We'll talk about that in a future video, but the dry bar uh, hair drying gives you like the look of a blowout at home. Love that tool. So it fits all of that in here. You can also put hair brushes in here, um, your hair ties, your all of your hair stuff can fit in here. It's awesome. Really, I'm wondering where it's been all my life. It's been somewhere in an Amazon warehouse, but I'm really glad that it's in my life now. Okay, let's talk a little bit about like beauty products, things like that. Uh, if you guys saw my favorites video, then you saw me, saw me, you saw me share with you about this uh, makeup bag. Uh, we'll call it a designer inspired bag. I think maybe that's okay to call it. It's inspired by a design but it's very, very affordable and I really, really like it. And this is what I pack the majority of my makeup in. I just drop it in here with my brushes. I know some people do more organized things for like makeup and brushes and all of that. I just toss that, all of my makeup in here, especially because usually what I do is I get ready the day I'm leaving and I toss it in here as I go. And then I also have this little beauty sponge holder that I shared in that video as well. I love this thing so much because you just don't want your dirty beauty sponge flopping around in your bag. Um, so it's great to have just this little silicone thing that holds it, keeps it safe, keeps it uh, from getting other things like damp or wet um, or any makeup that might still be on it. So I really love this bag. It's just lovely and wonderful. Now, depending on where you're staying, again, you may have access to a great place to get ready in the morning with wonderful morning light and a beautiful lighting in your hotel bathroom or something. That's not usually my experience. My experience is usually that I'm sitting on the floor because there's some kind of mirror in the main part of the hotel room or something and I'm sitting on the floor trying to do my makeup. And that's where this little beauty comes in. And this is a portable mirror with a light built in. So you charge it, again, keep your little cords in there. You charge it and then you have this lovely little mirror here that you can change if you want warmer light or cooler light tones. And then you can hold down the power button and it makes it brighter. Uh, or you can dim it down a little bit if you don't want it too bright, okay? It's fabulous. You can change the tone of the light and the strength of the light and it is wonderful if you are having to get ready in a hotel uh, bathroom with terrible lighting or in the middle of a hotel room where you just don't have lighting. This thing is wonderful to have. Fabulous, fabulous, just closes up. Um, you turn it on and off in the back and then you also charge it up so that you've got lots of juice for, for getting ready. And just so you know, it fits perfectly inside here. So you can toss it in there with all of your makeup and away you go. Now for other toiletry items, this little beauty has just revolutionized my packing uh, in terms of like all of the skincare and uh, you know toothbrush things. I'm still finishing up my Invisalign treatment for my teeth, right? So I've got like my retainers and stuff. I've just, I've got some toiletry bathroom stuff, okay? And then if you are packing stuff to be able to shower and wash your hair and do all that, you've got all of that stuff too. This thing is awesome, okay? So it folds up, it starts out like so. You've got an outside pocket here and it's got that kind of plasticky stuff. And when you open it up, you've got your little hook here so it hangs on the back of the bathroom door or wherever in your hotel room, it hangs on the door um, so that you can just easily have access to everything that you need. Look at this, it's got four compartments here. It's just perfect for organizing all of your toiletry bathroom stuff and then folding up nice and neat. All right, and last but certainly not least are these little bottles that I get from Amazon. So these are airless pump spray bottles and they are plastic. And I like to use them when I have a foundation, for example, like this one that comes in a glass container. I don't really wanna travel with a glass container. And also the closure system for this is a twisted cap. I think we all know what's gonna happen when this twisted cap gets into a bag on an airplane. By the time you land, everything that's in here is all over the rest of your stuff, okay? It can be just ugh. So I like to decant these, take the foundation out of here, put it into here. Uh, these come in a pack of like six or eight on Amazon. They are awesome. Like I said, they're airless pumped. Uh, this is a plastic one and they're just great, okay? And honestly, you don't even have to like need this for travel. If you just have a foundation or product that 
you love the product but you don't like the packaging sometimes you know companies when they manufacture things they do a great job on the product and the packaging is kind of like ugh. either like it's got a little stick or wand or something they have to like smear the product and it just you don't like it you can move those products into these and they are fabulous so I will link those um, airless pump bottles below but that is going to be it for me you guys I hope you enjoyed a peek at some of my favorite travel and organization things that make traveling just much more simplified for me and make it more fun. I love to travel anyways, but I get stressed that I'm gonna forget things or whatever. So this stuff just makes it easy, streamlined, and I feel like I can get to my destination, enjoy, and not feel like I forgot anything or get too stressed out. So they make it easier for me and maybe they will for you too. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you again very soon.